Yes, we got a razor knife. Three, right. two, one, action. Yeah. Oh, that's my. We're looking up there. here or down here? Now I can see a perfect, raise it up just a little bit. Perfect. We have Mape Aqua Defense. Waterproofing at its best. A fine product that low sells. So, and they're all the same. But since we're using Mape products in this shower, we thought we'd use Mape with Mape. So Mape thin set with Mape waterproofing material. So they formulate their product to work well with each other. So And grout. And grout, yes. So I'm handing John an open blade there so he can... I guess it's all the way down. Yeah, one of those. Yep. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing today, boys and girls, we are waterproofing the walls and pan. Even though we use Schluter Curdy products in here, um, I'd like to point out the fact that okay, thin set is a perfect sponge for water even though we have used uh, bands in the curb of our shower schluter wall material bands in the corners it's still porous so with i was asking john about that the other day and i was like hey john you've been in the concrete business for how many years now Maybe. and he and he said <laughs> since i was in Eighth grade, nineteen seventy two. Nineteen seventy two. So, mm. ooh, that's the new color. So that's the new product. So it's a lighter, lighter green. So, yeah, cool. And that's then like, if you turn your container around on the front, it's like pudding. It, that's that's going to show you the color that it is when it's dry. So, old Aqua Defense. It was a darker green. So this is what it's gonna dry, a, a oop, I'm sorry guys, a lighter green. So that's what it's gonna dry right there. All right, so John's gonna start applying this. But anyway, I was getting at, uh, John's been in the concrete business since 1972 and concrete is extremely porous, so extremely porous do my border first yeah let's do the border let's say what right above the <laughs> oh my gosh look at that little baby roller yes sir -y. that way i can see what i'm doing i'm just cleaning the lid so it don't Waste product, right? Yeah, yeah, that stuff is kind of expensive. How much is a tub of that stuff? About 50 bucks with tax. 50 bucks with tax. It's Lowe's price. That's Lowe's, yeah. Yep, Lowe's sells Mape Aqua Defense. So, you're welcome, Lowe's. Free advertisement, <laughs> right. So anyway, what I was getting at guys earlier is that, you know, concrete's extremely porous and thin set is modified concrete, okay? It's porous too, it's like a sponge. It's gonna soak up any water that touches it. So in, in time, it's gonna break that material down and compromise it. I don't care if you put thin set over Schluter Curdy, you know, all your all your penetrations that you make in that Schluter Curdy to fasten that material up, that's a penetration point. You still need to seal that up with some type of uh, fluid applied waterproofing membrane material. So I know a lot of guys would probably argue to that, that philosophy with me, which is fine, they, they can, but I've never had a shower fail yet, so. Knock and, on masonry. Right. <laughs> and hell, back in the day, we used to build these showers with just sheetrock behind it. 
<laughs> and plywood. Right. And none of those failed either. But now that we have these new construction methods and techniques, you're you're almost guaranteeing that you won't have a shower failure ever doing it this way. So well, anyway, we'll get this mape put down here. Splatter. Yes. Got to be careful and not let that stuff splatter. That's right. And then be generous when you put that stuff on. So more generous, Johnny. More? More. Yeah, you're too thin right there. Generous. Yeah, there you go. I like that. Be generous, guys. That would be a second coat, or you want one heavy coat? No, one heavy coat, and then another heavy coat. Because what we're what we're looking for is a a mill thickness of about the thickness of a credit card when you're done. That is the correct thickness, mill thickness of what you're supposed to attain when you put this product on. About the thickness of a credit card. All right. One mil thick. One is that one mil a credit card, or is that twenty mil? That's twenty mil. I think that's twenty mil. So, yep. Just just be generation. Gen I can't talk today. I didn't. I didn't do my warm ups. <laughs> Now the warm up. I had Cheerios. <laughs> oh. So anyway, be generous when you apply this material on there. So. Yep. And then I, I guess that's all the rollers that John could find. So technically, I would have used a, a little bit bigger roller, but I guess that's all he dug up. So, I don't know if you guys have seen those weenie rollers, but I like those uh, six inch long weenie rollers. Those, those things work great. And then technically you're supposed to use a three eighths inch nap when you apply this stuff, and that's definitely not a three eighths inch nap that he's using, but. What do you mean by nap? Nap, the thickness of the felt material on your roller. Oh, to get it good. Uh-huh. Thickness. A penetration uh, yeah a good uh, Coat. coating of product on there right and then plus it'll go faster so you're you're really uh, I'm not a contractor <laughs> if I could see if you were doing this for making money <laughs> but this is making me sleep better at night right and then kind of overlap your corners there in your niche. In here? Yeah, overlap into the niche area a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. See, those corners are sensitive to leaking. Yes, prone to leakage. So, right on. So if it's your own, it's a different story. If it's for... Is it? Or should you use the right product? I'm talking about coverage. Application wise. Yeah. That way when you do it for yourself, you know it's good. Oops. So pay attention where that blob went. Did it go back in the bucket? Oh, it's on the wall there. See it? Here? Yep, so roll that out so you won't have a high spot because that will dry like that. So pay attention if you have uh, little boogers or little splatter marks along your wall as you're starting high and working low. Oh, and that's another thing to point out. Start high and then work low. That way you can figure your fix all your splatters. So, because you will have splatters. And then roll those splatters out. And then to the left of your niche there, Johnny, you got some 
some splatters. Here. There you go. Down. Right there. Yep. Whew, the old armadillo gets tired. Make, make it uniform. Yes, sir. Mm hmm And then on your, get some product on your roller there. And then on your niche, on the right hand, lower, upper part. Right hand, lower, right hand, niche, lower upper. upper part. Yeah, underneath the... Up here? Yeah, right there. Right there. And then to your right, right there. Yep. Yeah. That's sealed. That there. is sealed. That's Mm -hmm. And then watch your lap marks right there. Yep. I was noticing that too. Beautiful. Got her good and thick. So, roller, I. Uh, I like the roller method better than the brush method doing this stuff. So that's the preferred method. But you, sh you should really use a 3 8 inch roller, guys. We just, that's all Johnny had, so. <laughs> just making do with what he had. That's right. So, all right. So he's gonna roll that out, and then I'm probably gonna jump in there with a the brush. Get the corners. Yeah, I'll get all the corners. So let me set this camera up kind of far back here so I can get a wide angle shot. Yeah. So let's do that. What do you want to be mindful of? So we want to be mindful of the splatter. All right, guys, we're back. The stream dropped. Sorry about that. Uh, I guess T-Mobile must be struggling today. <laughs> I need 5G. <laughs> 5G would really help out on streaming. All right, set that there. You guys can see that pretty good. So I don't know where the stream dropped out at, but anyway, I was saying that I want to read and learn about the uh, drying time, the cure time on this stuff. Yeah, there's drying time in between coats, but there's also cure time when the product is fully cured. I want to figure that out before we proceed with our water test. So we will do a 24 hour water test. And the water test consists of pouring water in the pan, put a plug in the drain, and you wait for 24 hours. And if the water level has not dropped and you don't visually see any water of course working its way out of the pan you're good to go you can proceed with tiling the pan first always tile your floor first and then work your way up with the walls Always all the floors first. That way when you when you tile your walls, your your wall tile will overlap your corner joints on your pan. So and we will demonstrate that too. Getting this curb nice and waterproofed here. And honestly, you can't 
you can't put too much of this stuff down really. More the better. the old saying <laughs> it's mostly waterproofed <laughs> well, mostly waterproofed is not waterproofed <laughs> okay wall number two you need this closer to you no you're good you're good okay. stuff likes to set up pretty quick guys so move your butt Careful, Johnny, you're real close to the curb here. So we're just using, I'm just using a cheap throwaway brush here. So these dollar brushes. Disposables. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. Oh, you're good. I'm getting my corners here. Getting the corners? Yep. I can reach them after the fact. I can reach in there. the audience we met us a new Filipina today? I didn't. So, here's a funny story, everyone. What are the odds? What are the odds? So, for those that don't know, some of you do know. <laughs> You've seen my, her in action. <laughs> my wife is Filipina <laughs> and John's wife is Filipina also. And John had some Folding food crates. Folding food, yes. Folding food crates listed on mm -hmm. Facebook Marketplace. And a Filipina <laughs> uh, was the customer. It was kind of funny. So she comes in and he's like, are you Filipina? He's like, oh yeah. It's like, well, come on upstairs. I need you to meet, meet yeah. somebody. <laughs> I got a surprise for you. All right. So, house full of Filipinos over here today. Thought that was kind of funny. Isn't her, was it her son or daughter getting married? I think I it was her daughter. Her daughter. Yeah. Marion Econo? I think so, yeah. Uh huh. American boy. Boy. Yeah, so interesting story how small of a world it is. I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah. 
So we have a new friend. Yes, we have a new Filipina friend to add to the mix. The wives have a new friend. Right, yeah. Pretty good, looking really good. Oh, I like it. I'm feeling defended. Aqua defended. You know, I noticed the um, VOCs on this stuff isn't that bad compared to like Red Guard. Mm -hmm. Red Guard's pretty powerful. The smell? Yeah, the smell. The vapor? Uh huh. Yeah, this is, I can smell this too. Do you think it's, it's not as bad as Red Guard? Well, smelling it right out of the can is, but. None of it's probably not good for you. you know? Right. I guess I could have used a mask. But... A respirator, right. Well, we've got a bathroom fan going too, so yeah. I'm, I'm sure that's helping with the fumes. So, yeah, it's, it's not that bad, guys. Mm-hmm. So is this overkill? Mm, no, I don't think so. I think it's just a new, newer, when I say newer, like within the last 10 years, a building technique, and we have evolved with our building techniques to just make it better. Although, like I said, I've never had any failures the way I did it 25 years ago. Compared to today's construction methods. Think if you had a bigger roller, you'd be done. Yeah, true. <laughs> Paid by the job, not the hour. <laughs> I'd have to have you get the old brush your in the tight spots. Yeah, in the corners. All right. Okay. All right. Concentrate on the wall. So we've got a skylight in here and it kind of messes with the lighting. Sorry about that, guys. You see how high up we went, so. It's about six feet tall. That's all you really need to go, six feet tall. And then really on the control side, you just need to go up to the top of the controls, in my opinion, because your water is going the opposite way right there. So. 
Yeah. Is that the Chad Rooney's reply? Oh, probably. I was like, uh, uh, is that Facebook Messenger? Did you Messenger him? him or yes, a, Messenger. Oh, okay. Yeah, then that's a, that was a Messenger ding. Ding. <laughs> So we are putting down Mape Aqua Defense uh, liquid fluid applied waterproofing membrane over Schluter Curdy waterproof shower That's waterproof board. too, isn't it? Yes, that to is be. waterproof too. But double warning. Uh, yeah, double warning. But I I disagree. I don't think. It is waterproof on your seams and the banding that you put down. You still have... Right, the main board here is. Yeah, the main board is, right. But your seams and right. all your that's penetrations hidden. for your fast fasteners, that's not waterproof. Right. Uh, that's a porous material and it can compromise it. So... Yeah. And what's his name on the uh, tile coach? Uh, Isaac Ostrom. He actually proved that in a water test. So it it made the thin set soft soften after a few days. So that guy's awesome. Wealth of knowledge. He's a great YouTuber. Sal the Blasi, another great YouTuber. Bob from Star Tile, another great YouTuber. Landberg Tile, I like that guy too. And then um uh, uh, tile master from Georgia, I do believe is his name. That guy's pretty amazing too. So we've got a lot of knowledgeable tile guys out there that you know make YouTube videos to help the community. I'm after quality, not quantity. Right. And then we have Ronin Master Properties. Yes. Pat and John showing you our way. So. Everybody has a way, a method, a process, and products that they like to use. So, as I was saying earlier, or maybe I didn't, um, I was kind of commenting on all of the waterproofing membranes that are out there. So you have, okay, so that's uh, Mape, Aqua Defense, and then, uh, you know, there's Red Guard also. So here's Red Guard by Custom Building Products. Uh, pretty much same stuff in my opinion, just has a different tint to it. And then there's a uh, Laticrete uh, Hydroban. Laticrete makes a product called Hydroban that's pretty good also. They're all good. So in my opinion, they're all good. If you apply them correctly, they're all good and follow the manufacturer's guidelines. That's just it right there. A lot of people don't follow the directions. They don't follow the manufacturer guidelines and then you wonder why your stuff fails. Read the directions, people. Yes, yes, yes. All right, go ahead. Corner here. All right. And really, guys, you need a brush in the corners. Get your corners real good. Use a brush in your corners.
extra foot right here. I'm getting awful close. Yep. So it is a balmy 35 degrees in Kansas City today. Nothing better to do than indoor activities. Oh, okay. So. Your roller, you're gonna be a three coater. It's awful thin. You're awful thin. It's too thin. What's next on the to do? I guess we do two coats of this or however many coats of material we have for however many coats we can do. And then we're gonna set the vanity today and then work on some uh, tile borders for the baseboard. down for the baseboards with some metal edge detail. So those that have been following us, you can see that wall turned out fantabulous. Straighter than straight. So we were able to save that wall. And we created more surface area by using the Darby with the little ridges in it, little gripping ridges. Yeah. See John rolling out that hydro band. Hydro band. I just call it hydro band. Aqua defense. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> yeah. So guys, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button and smash the bell to be notified of future video uploads. And as always, spread the love, share the word, Ronin Master Properties.
Yes, yes. See you next time. See you next time. But we're not ending yet. So I just like to put that in there, a little plug in the middle. So I was looking on the analytics on the channel and there's like, I know it's a small channel. You know, we have a whole whopping 81 subscribers right now. But anyway, uh, <laughs> we're climbing that mountain pretty quick. But anyway, what I was getting at is, is the analytics show that like 90, 93% of the people that watch the channel are unsubscribed. And only 7% that watch the channel are subscribed. So a lot of you guys, you know, you stumble across these videos and you watch them and don't subscribe, which I get it. You know, there's some stuff I don't subscribe to either, but it would really help the channel out if you just subscribe. It doesn't cost you a thing except for maybe two seconds of your time to move that mouse pointer over to that subscribe button and click the left mouse button. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just the keyboard guy, so that's why I know all that stuff. <laughs> Yeah. So definitely, guys, please consider subscribing. I, I beg you, subscribe. Nah, we like doing this for you, and hopefully, you you know you gain some something that can benefit you and your projects. So the do-it-yourselfer. The do-it-yourselfer. Yes. Keep an eye on your base here for all your splatters. Looks like I got them. Right. So. Yeah, that roller's killing me, dude. This one? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, we're in no hurry. <laughs> Quantity, not quality. I, I hear that, that you're in no hurry, but what... It's not deep enough. Right, enough. it's not putting enough product down. Yeah, we'll coat her again. Yeah, this will be a three-coater. Yep, yep. See that, guys? We're teaching you what not to do. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't want to coat the phone here. Okay. Closer to my work. So, something else, guys. What do we use for our products when we shoot our videos? 90 percent of the videos that you see from Rona Master Properties are shot on an iPhone 11 Pro Max with a Saramonic Blink 500 Pro microphone system. That's what you're hearing right now. So it's a wireless microphone system. So John has a microphone and I have a microphone and then there's a little plug-in module that plugs into the side of the iPhone and it does have a, a lightning plug-in so that's what's capturing our audio for our videos so and I think that microphone setup if I remember right I paid uh, $350 for that microphone setup and then um, the iPhone that I'm using 11 Pro Max because I I'm, I'm waiting for the 14 to come out I think the iPhone 14 comes out with a uh, USB-C port on the back. So that's gonna be a game changer for uh, people that are content creators that produce videos. We need that high speed connection on, uh, on when we sift our videos off if we don't do live streams. So if you just record, if we record raw video, that's gonna help that out immensely, having that USB-C port on there. So the lightning port is old technology that's like uh, 80s <laughs> compared to what we're in now, the 2000s. 
So anyway, what I'm getting at is, is the, yeah, the 13 Pro shoots uh, Pro Raw Res and it has 5G capability for its connectivity. The 11 does not have 5G uh, capability. So I'm, I'm too cheap to buy the 13 and then buy the 14 again. Those phones are very expensive. Hell, I paid uh, $1,100 for this iPhone back in the day. And then the, uh, the 14 that I want to pick up, I think those are going to be going for right around $1,500 for the terabyte model. I want the terabyte model. Anyway, uh, yes, I need it for the 5G streaming, high, high streaming bandwidth. So, make your, make the streaming picture clear, crystal clear. But yeah, that's the equipment that I use. And then my other go-to camera is a GoPro. So most of the stuff has been shot with a GoPro 7, Hero Black, and then I do plan on upgrading to either the Hero 10 or waiting later this year to see what uh, GoPro releases. They have, uh, my understanding, uh, four cameras that they're thinking about releasing that, that are specifically made for specific situations. So right here, John. There's some blank spots right in here. You can okay. see thin set right there and right there. Uh, here uh -huh. we go. Right in here, right there. Oh, shit. It's all right. It's just a work shirt. <laughs> yep. It's waterproofed. So, yeah, GoPro Hero 7s and iPhones, and then I do have a Sony A6600 that I use for stationary recordings. I like the A6600, it's a small camera, easy to use, and I like the Sony platform. Sony's, Sony makes great equipment. Hell, Sony's the one that makes all the sensors for everybody else, so. Why not go with Sony, right? All right. Okay. Ready, ready for, for the, the pan? Floor. Yeah. Ready for the. All right. Ready, ready for the pan. Okay. Get her good and thick. <sighs> yes. Get her good and thick on the pan. You can do her. Give her one of those aqua blue. Yeah. So be generous on your pan. I use <laughs> dark blue. So remember when we did the shower in the uh, uh, big, the hallway? Green, remember green. how it was real dark green? And this is a lighter green. This is their new formula. Waterproofed. Mm -hmm. Beef up the corners here. Yes, you can never never have too much in the corners there. Mm -hmm. Looks good. The floor looks good. Yeah. Is that the window girl? That's the window girl. I know that girl. I know that girl. I've seen her before. Mm -hmm. I remember now. I can't remember yesterday. I just remember doing what they told me. Told me. Told me. I'm gonna one arm bend it. Yeah. Start in the back there and work your way to the front. Mm-hmm. Guten thick. Yes. Yeah. Pan, good and thick. I'm not so worried about the walls. Mm. 
So you'll have to make sure and tune in when we do the uh, water pan test. So like I said, I'm going to read the manufacturer's curing time, how long it takes for this product to actually cure out totally, where it's totally dry, ready to apply tile. I don't know the answer to that, but I'll be able to tell you the answer to that before the next coating or for the water pan test. I'll have that answer. And those that are watching, if you know the answer, please comment below. What is the cure time on Mape Aqua Defense waterproofing? This is gonna be great. This is gonna look good. They didn't have this stuff back in the day when you started putting concrete down, huh? Nope. When did you guys start using concrete sealer? You mean curing compound? Yeah, curing compound. Um, I got in the union and, well, I back in the 60s and, or early 70s, they had cure, curing compound. But ever since I started, they've had it. Oh, yeah, curing compound? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of a... Relatively new technique for uh, residential builds. Ceiling of showers. Okay. Do you want the brush for around the... I'll let the master speaker, president of Ronin, <laughs> explain his routine. Routine? To the listeners. Subscribers. Subscribers. Shoot. There you go. Right. Okay. Where do you want your bucket to sit? Right there where it's at? Yeah, you're fine. And then I'll, when you're done, I'll... Put the finishing touches on the corner, or how do you want to do that? Mm, go ahead and move your bucket out, and then I can. You can do that. I can reach. Oh okay. yeah. And then I will do my corner. Yeah, I can definitely reach. What the heck is going on in there? I don't know. You know them. Yes. Screaming talk. <laughs> That's how they talk. Like you're deaf. Mm-hmm. One more, sir. One more. That's gotta be fine. it for me. Yeah. That looks fantabulous. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Yep. Do you see a spot from your higher angle? I do not see a spot. Do I look pretty good for Yeah, it looks really good for the first coat. Yeah, I'm I'm looking. I'm watching from up here. See a spot, you let me know. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. yours. So I want to I want to waterproof around that drain there. You want this or your brush? No, let's do brush. So let's let's do that. And then let me see if I can there we go. Wow, looky there, it worked, the zoom feature. Okay, so I want to waterproof around that drain assembly right there. So I'm gonna come in. This is a seam right here. So I'm gonna come in 
around that seam there. And you see how I'm how I'm using my brush and I'm pulling the stroke away from the center of the drain. I want to try and put that product into that seam right there. Okay. And that's my reason for applying it the way that I'm applying it right there. That is a breach point. Is that a good word? A breach point? A point of compromise? Possible compromise? Okay, see how that looks? That's looking a lot better. Yeah. Whew. Getting the buzz. Yeah, this stuff's powerful when you're on it. Yeah, when the whole shower's been coated with it. So. All right. See that, guys? Get that sealed up right there real good. How's that look? It looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. Snappy. So, kind of smooth this out. Then we'll come back with our second coat in here. Yeah, looks really good. So all of our corners are coated really good. Our pan, I see. So if I pinch that back, if I look in that corner back there, let me try and get this camera angled so you guys can see this. Let me see what. I don't know if you can see that. But let me try and. Ooh. Nope. All right, refocus. Focus, focus. There we go. So anyway, there's some spots back there. It looks like the roller mist. I'm gonna get with the brush. See that back there in the corner? See that right in there? You see them? Yep. And this is a good way to give you a stretch. <laughs> Work those stomach muscles. All right, and then on that band back there, one spot, and then we're done. You see that back there? Yeah, dinner's about ready, man. Dinner ready? After that, Sweet. second coat. Yeah, after dinner, second coat. All right, that looks fantastic. Okay. I'm happy with that. Work some of that product out of my brush here. Okay. So that is part one. First coat of your Aqua Defense. So here's something I want to teach you guys. John, you got a paper towel? Got a paper towel handy? Clean one. I got a city paper towel. Okay. Glad I saved these. So here's a little tip and trick, guys. Before you put your lid on your bucket, clean it. That way you're not fighting it when you remove it. So I'll just take a paper towel and you know, if you've got any product on there, clean that off. See that? It better seal. Yes, and then it'll seal better. OK. 
Okay, old painter's trick. Yeah, now put your lid on. You won't be cussing yourself later. <laughs> All right. Mape, Aqua Defense. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in for this session. As always, we appreciate you. Consider subscribing if you have not already. Ring that bell for future upload notifications. And we'll see you real soon. All right, guys. Peace. Have a fantabulous day. And we'll see you real soon. We're tiling and smiling. Tiling and smiling. <laughs> All right. Peace, peace, peace. Bye.